Hey everybody! It's Christopher Travels! Kind of ho homesteading. <laughs> I don't know if I should change my name or anything because I really, I want to travel more. And uh, Frankie 3.0 will happen. I just have other things to do before it. And I don't even know if you can see that because the sun is right there. Anyway, I love you, Frankie. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm here to talk to you about being careful and not naive about buying land in Cochise County, in Wilcox, or the surrounding areas. Because, let me show you. So this person, they were driving around yesterday. Carla was like, what the heck? Who are these people? So that's their trailer. Filled with a lot of stuff they were bringing to the parcel they purchased. To the land they purchased. And they can't get to the land. <sighs> Because if you go down this road, there's a fence that is locked. And all along there, there's a fence. <clears throat> all along there. And then it goes back this way. There's a bunch of cattle over there. So the rancher goes in the fence. Unlocks it, goes in, locks it. And they could have sworn on Google Maps that they could have gotten there. But they can't. <laughs> There's a railroad. There's no entrances over there. So they're on this side of the railroad, on that side of the fence somewhere. And they can't get there. This is a free range state. Arizona is free range. So if you have cows, they're free range. What you have to do is you have to fence in your own property if you want to keep them out. So <clears throat> they have cattle guards and stuff in certain areas. Carl and I are not fenced in. Although there are, is a fence. There's a cattle guard at the entrance. But this poor guy here. <laughs> I don't know what he's going to do. So basically this video is just telling you. Please. Please. Be careful. Feel free to email me. If you buy land and you have a parcel number you have to have a parcel number do not buy land without it saying a parcel number don't do it if they don't have a parcel number then they don't have all the information every single piece of land I believe in the whole United States has a parcel number It's very unfortunate. Sorry if it's windy and you can hear the wind. But it's very unfortunate this person drove all the way out here with their stuff. Carla said, I guess they're staying at a motel or something. But, yeah. Oh my gosh, people. <clears throat> it's a awesome dream, isn't it? I got super lucky. I was so naive with my land purchase i just purchased it hoping that it wasn't a scam hoping that the satellite image of the road was still here i got so lucky so let me tell you on facebook marketplace there are some land for sale there is land for sale around here but let me tell you the land for sale it's either behind a fence or in a flooded area or you can't get to it. You, 
you have to uh, make your own road. But Carla, see this area here? This area floods when it rains. And there are a couple parcels for sale, I believe, over there. And it's right in a flooded area. Like, the only thing you'll be able to do, really, is probably try to build the land up. You know, rock, scrabble, rock, scrabble. Yeah. And in this area where I am, you cannot dig a, a drill a well. No wells are allowed. The lake nearby here is reclaimed sewage water. You cannot have a well here. Electricity is probably tens of thousands of dollars to bring in. And this is considered still residential. So, please be careful. Please. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me my email. You go to my page here at YouTube. Go to the About. And it has my email there. And you can email me. If you have a parcel number, send me that. I'll look it up, tell you what I think. If it's, you know, worth it. Yeah. So, it was real simple for me. I was traveling after my company let me and my other co-workers go. And I was on the East Coast, and I just was like, oh... Let me look, let me Google land sales. And I found it. I found this property for very cheap. And I couldn't believe it. This is, it was very rare for me to pay so little for this property. Because most of these parcels, taxes are due. You got to pay the taxes. Carla's parcel there was a lot of taxes that were not paid she bought the land and then she had to pay the taxes so <clears throat> yep so just keep keep note I can look that up for you too if you have a parcel number if there's taxes owed I can let you know just please be careful so let others be an example you know this person has all their stuff with them and nowhere to go they can't get to the land they purchased so anyway thank you for being with me live your dreams no matter how little or how big i love you all live life to the fullest I'll see you soon. Bye.